All right, everybody, we are here with the Ford F-150. We just got the LED lights. We're gonna go and install those now. All right, so here are the LED lights that we have received. They are a set of uh, five meters of LED light, white LED light. They are non-waterproof, which is fine because it's gonna be under here. Um, and they have an adhesive backing, but we're also gonna put zip ties around them to hold them up just in case, because I've dealt with a few of these LEDs and the adhesives don't really work most of the time. So we'll go ahead and install these. I think Tozy's gonna help us with the uh, install, unfortunately. I'm just kidding. Tozy's a cool guy. So we'll get this uh, installed. You don't like that plan? Hello. Huh? Hello. Yeah, let's we'll look. See, we'll see if I'm still here. No, no you're going to stay here. You're, so, yeah, I think we load this thing up with batteries and see what it looks like. Make sure this make sure this thing holds up. I don't know. My dad built it. I did. We so, did. Oh, you did too. Oh, it's even worse. Jeez. Tozy built it. We caught once and measured twice. That's not the way you're supposed to do it there. Yeah. Is it? You sure? Twice cut once. <laughs> uh, I think I'll do this the right way with heat shrink. All right, so we're gonna use this blue heat shrink here to um, encapsulate these butt connectors just to enhance the uh, longevity of this project. Um, so we will go ahead and uh, I'm gonna strip these away. Hey, Tozy, can you hand me those wire strippers? Sorry, I can come and get right here. The red one's right there. No, right, right, no. Next one. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Jesus. All right. You ever seen a pair of strippers this nice? No. No? Get those free too? No. They're nice though, they just automatically uh, Strip the wires, they're pretty neat. Yeah, you just click it and go. They'll strip two wires at the same time, too. Alright, so we got our two wires here. Focus. Got the two wires. Go ahead and uh, put one of them in. A little long, I think, so we'll bend it back like so. Then we will put it in the 22 gauge slot, give it a crimp. Little tug test. This looks good to me. Same thing over here. Twenty two to fourteen. Grim. Solid. All right, now we will cut down this heat shrink to uh, go over the edge here, and then we'll leave some room over here to go over the other. All right, so I'm thinking right about here. Cut. So there's one slide it down to here and then we'll take our other one and we'll cut it to a matching length we'll put it down here boom okay now the question is which is positive and negative they're both white guess we'll have to find out does it matter? Oh, wait, wait, I can figure out from here. Because the wires are leading. Positive, negative. So, gray is positive. 
Two. Two. Does it really? Let's let's check it out. What do you got over here? Are you doing custom sticker work over here? Play. Straight with not a bubble in it. To it, son. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. This truck just got lettered. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, there it goes. The truck just got lettered. We didn't do that, but we're adding little AAA stickers and whatnot. We got. We got the door. We got the door. <laughs> It really slams. We got the doors did. Doors did? We got the doors did. Doors done. Doors did. That's what I go to college for. Doors did it. Did. Got a plaza towing back here. And then same on the other side. Alright. Now. Hopefully we have. Well, that worked. Non-existent. So that girl I told you yesterday, is she like best friends with your your friend? My friend? Who? The chick with the Camaro. Yeah, but what about her? Are they like best friends? With who? With your girlfriend. Oh no. here and then we flip the switch we got light so put the heat drink on oh the heat drink fell off yeah it fell off gee dang it you didn't heat it that's why no I didn't have it on there because it fell off oh my gosh oh my god Nancy ah <laughs> uh, all right you can always put that black wire loop sure you do after a second attempt, heat shrink is installed. Oh, nice. Alright, cool. So now we'll put some heat to it. Heat him up. I know Tozzy's got a lighter. Where's that torch? I ain't using a torch on this. I mean, it's there, but it's the
right, so we are still doing some finishing touches in terms of uh, tightening everything down and uh, reinforcing it, but this is what we have so far. We have it wired. Pretty neat, huh? So, uh, as you can see, we have uh, the wire strip running that way, and then the same thing on this side running that way. We did a slight change of plans. We went ahead and uh, instead of running a continuous loop, we went ahead and spliced the second set, cut the LED, and then ran a second set this way. So right now we're in the process of putting wire loom on top of everything and then, and then uh, zip tying everything and then zip tying everything like you see here um, just to reinforce it in case the adhesive fails. All right, that's what it looks like when we get a fuel delivery every uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Today it's Friday because we had a holiday weekend uh, this past Monday, but um, usually it's a Tuesday, Thursday delivery. We get our 1,000 gallon fuel tank filled up. Jose is filling up his battery truck with batteries now. We're gonna see how the batteries lie in the new battery rack. That grass would be nice, dude. You know what I mean? What do you think about that? Did it make that too big? A little bit. We can move stuff. Well, he's just got a puzzle in it. But it might actually work okay. How many of those do you carry usually? Well, this is a one H8, H8 AGM, H7. H7 AGM. So the off. H series, they're bigger batteries, that what it is? Yeah. No, no, it's just a, uh, yeah. Well, no, the H6s are not this big, but it's the, uh, we have a uh, six, seven, and eights. They all have uh, AGM batteries now for the newer vehicles. Hmm. I wonder what this one takes. I think it takes a six, an H6. Yeah, it's a bigger battery on the, this. The H8 is the biggest one though, this is an H7, so... You want to scoot it this? over? You can scoot it over. Well, and then figure out what you want to do and then we'll move them. Okay, one more there. Figure out what you need to do and we'll move So them. then I can have the H8 regular, AGM, H7 regular, AGM. So you want that scoot in or out? Out. Out. Just enough where another battery this size will fit right here. Cool. Because one Unless of these, you, go like, that way. you can move this one this way because see how small this battery yeah, is? Let's do it that way then. So I can put more smaller batteries here because these are heavier. Let's do it like and that. And what's going to go over there? I want to kind of balance the weight. All right, so let's open that up and then we'll scoot it. So kind of trial and error with this new system. We're going to scoot that one over to that way to get more room out of it. How much do you need? Uh, well, Let's put a smaller battery there. I don't think there's any. Actually, battery. I can put one of these, a uh, 51, because these are two the 51 R's. Thought you forgot how to use a drill for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. What's today? Monday? Close. Friday. Monday today. <laughs> No, it's payday today, isn't it? Mm, that, was yesterday. that was yesterday. Isn't it payday today? Scoot. I think that's going to be good. Slide on in there. Nope. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, we'll give it that. Perfect. Nice. Perfect, sir. Classy. This is our battery room here. So this is all inventory battery that we um, 
basically this is our stock room. So the guys come in here and they restock their trucks with new batteries and then the cores that we take out of the bad vehicle, or the, the bad batteries, which we call cores, we take them and put them on this pallet and then uh, the company that we contract with to bring us batteries takes batteries away as well and properly disposes of them. Moved a few things and added a few things. We have a new fire extinguisher here, gas can is there, and we moved the floor jack out of there, over there. All right, so we were a little concerned about the uh, wobble once we add weight onto here. We're estimating that each battery weighs about 40 pounds. We have approximately 20 batteries in here, so about eight, eight to a thousand, 800 to 1,000 pounds worth of batteries in here. Um, and when we were a little concerned about the wobble, so we added these braces here to support that. So now we're going to take it for a test drive and see if anything falls out, if this breaks, or anything like that. So we're test drive time. Right. Bump test. Felt pretty good. U-turn test. <laughs> Once traffic clears. People on my videos have been wondering if you still work for us. Your answer is yes. I still work here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I heard something. Hopefully it was just a battery like shifting from one side to the other. <laughs> All right, we'll see when we get back to the yard. All right, what a coincidence. This, the other F-150 just showed up with its new topper on it. A little different style. We had to go with what we could find. So, yeah, we'll check that out here in a second. All right, moment of truth. It looks good to me. Everything's solid, nothing buckled. Batteries aren't sitting down here in the center tray. Looks like it's a good one. We'll turn the lights off and get this unit on the road. All right, so we have the ARE top over here, and then we have the Snug Pro top here. So, like I said, we had to go with whatever we could find because everything's five to six weeks out, and these uh, truck purchases are kind of last minute, but we'll make it work. Um, but anyway, this one's pretty nice. It's got double doors back here. Um, the downside to that, I guess, is that you have to remove the tailgate, which they did. Um, I guess it's nice because you have all this open space here. You have all this open space. Um, one of the downsides is the backup camera is removed, so we could potentially add one into this little gap here. But since the backup camera is incorporated into the tailgate, uh, we'll have to figure something else out there. And then uh, I don't really know what we're going to do in terms of battery storage on this truck. Um, but as you can see, it has these deals here instead of uh, open access into the top. So. Roberto's getting ready to head up to Banning with the truck and trailer, so he's heading out. So one of the features that I was talking about with Alex that I like, and uh, I didn't even know it was a feature on this one until we got it, but it's got a rear-facing uh, window so you can see all the way through. That's pretty neat. 